Ashley, I know you weren't too thrilled to go up in the helicopter last year, so I thought we might keep it a little more grounded this year. Do you promise my feet are going to remain on the ground? <laughs> you know I don't make promises. I'm Pat. And I'm Ashley. We made our way to Lynchburg, Tennessee to check out the Jack Daniels Distillery and learn more about our work on the Elk River. Jack Daniels started production of whiskey in Lincoln County. That's a little known fact. On that farm, he met a man that was what we now know of was the first master distiller for Jack Daniels. That was uh, near as green, a black man. Mm -hmm. So I was doing some research before we were, you know, coming here. It's my first time at Jack Daniels and here in Lynchburg. I saw something about sustainability on your website. What does sustainability mean to you all at Jack Daniels? But this is an interesting thing. Uh, we're zero waste, zero percent waste to landfill. Wow. So all of our materials gets recycled. Part of the thing I like most too is the collaboration and the partnership between Jack Daniels, uh, Duck River Electric Corporation, mm -hmm. and TVA. And when I say a partnership, Duck River and TVA is there to support. Next, Tim's Ford Dam, where we got to talk to Kevin about some of our conservation efforts on the Elk River. Hey Kevin, thanks so much for meeting us out here at beautiful Tim's Ford Dam here on the Elk River. How do dams like this play a part in our environmental stewardship efforts? I thought they were just here for power. Well, the way that TVA operates dams can have a huge impact on the fish downstream. So I know the boulder darter was here, so what do fish like the boulder darter and other creatures? Tell us about the health of the water. Well, the boulder darter is a fish that lives in the Elk River here, and it has very specific habitat needs, and it's very sensitive to certain effects from uh, land use in the watershed. Well, thank you so much for meeting us out here and talking about this fascinating fish and this wonderful waterway. Thank you so much. From one legendary Tennessee brand to another, our next stop was the Lodge store. We are here at this beautiful store in Lynchburg, Tennessee. It's a Lodge store. I'm a historian. Tell me about the history of Lodge. So, a Lodge is made here in Tennessee in South Pittsburgh. We started in 1896. We've been going strong ever since. It's a piece of history for me and a lot of those of us in the South, but it's now with the growth of Lodge and our website and things like that, it's something you can get around the world. We started in 1973. We just started, had our 50th anniversary, so we're in our 51st year. We are here because of this airplane behind us. That is called the Stagger Wing. Beechcraft is actually in Wichita, Kansas. When the group said that the, the land was donated, we were gonna start the museum, the founders went to Wichita, asked Mrs. Beach for her permission. She said, big dreams and small pockets. She was here two years later for the dedication of the hangar that we're standing in today. Wow, you guys were able to do so much in a short amount of time, this is impressive. Start your engines because next week we're racing to Bowling Green, Kentucky 